how to set up Android for seniors. So I'm going to show you a simple mode on Android which you can set up that will be beneficial for elderly people and seniors. So if you want to know more about this, keep watching the video. I will show you how to do this or set up this mode. Let's get into the video. So in order to do this, I'll be showing you two different way or methods how we can like set this mode up. One, the first way is by adjusting the native settings on the phone itself for a senior friendly mode. And the second way is by installing a special launcher app. Let's get started. So the first one by adjusting the native settings on phone for a senior friendly mode. So how do we do that on your phone here itself? Okay, go to the settings on your phone. So depending on which phone you have, go to the settings on whatever your Android phone is. Go to their settings. Once you're on the settings here, the first uh, thing that we're going to first setting that we're going to look into is the screen timeout. So once you're on the settings here, what we're going to do is scroll down and go to display. Okay. So once you're on the display, so before we actually go to the screen timeout, let's talk about these the appearance here. You have two modes here. One is the light mode, and the other one is the dark mode. So I would prefer or suggest to use the dark mode because dark mode will be well, visually it will like reduce eye strains and all those things so for elderly people dark mode will be much better so if you select the dark mode on your phone you will see that it all like changes to dark everything is in dark which is visually it's pretty good considering especially for senior people so you can just uh, switch between the dark and light mode but i would prof prefer prefer to use a dark mode to reduce some eye strain okay and uh, apart from that next let's go back okay so back to the settings here so here what we're going to do is we're going to look into the screen timeout so if you scroll all the way down here okay you will see you will see this option here under display so click on display from display here if you scroll down you will see this screen timeout option here because sometimes for elderly people you know sometimes you need more longer time for the for the screen to be active in order before it can like turn off or if that before this uh, before the screen switches off because by default it's always like 15 seconds to 30 seconds but for elderly people it will be better if they can have it a slightly bit longer so that they can take actions within that time period on what to do okay so in based on that suggestions i would suggest you to at least put it to a minute or two actually two minutes which is fair enough and but you also still don't want to put it for like you know five minutes or ten minutes which is going to be like too long you know so not not too long and not too short i would suggest probably a minute or two you can set up your screen timeout for okay so you can do that so that's an that's a setting that you can set up and apart from that if you go back here to the display settings here okay if you go back to the display settings here you'll see there is an option here called uh the font size and style so tap on it so here you can actually change the font style if you to make it like if you want something better or more bigger ones or if you want a bigger font then you have this font size here so if you like increase it just slide the slider to the right you'll see that you know the text gets bigger here so this one is goes smaller to your right it goes bigger so you can like you know especially for for visibility for people who needs better visibility so they can try to increase the size and make it a bit bigger and if you want to make the font like bold darker you can just tap the tap on this turn this on and this will make the font like bold and dark okay so it's on, you can set that up and the size here you can make it bigger too for elderly people which is, will be pretty good for them okay and then when you go back here you'll see another option here that says screen zoom if you tap on it what happens here this will zoom the screen for you so for example you are like you know sometimes you have some vision issues like you want a bigger screen or something a bit zoom so tap on the slider and just slide it to your right when you slide it to your right you'll see that it gets bigger see like like it gets bigger see the screen size gets bigger and you, when the screen gets bigger the text and everything gets bigger as well so you can like you know slightly increase the size based on the requirement or for your need you can just in increase the screen size so that will like make your screen look bigger and stuff so 
these are the settings that you can like set it up in order to like activate the uh, the seniors mode on your Android but as I mentioned earlier so this is one way of doing it by adjusting the nat native settings on your phone but there is another way which is by installing a special app to do that go to your Play Store okay open up your Play Store and your Play Store search for big launcher okay so click on search and then search, type in big launcher you will get this app here so this is the app that we're going to use so try to install this app so tap on install and install this app on your phone okay i'm going to install it on my phone next setting that we're going to look into is if you go back here you will see there is an option on the same display settings here you will see there's an option called if you scroll down there will be the option called navigation bar you can tap on the navigation bar so here you can change how you want the three buttons to how do you want to navigate it you want to like with a swipe it to activate it or you want to just press it as a button so if you i would suggest you to use it as a button because it will be easier so they can just press on it in order to use it rather than swiping because sometimes it doesn't go well for swiping for some people so you can just keep that in mind so you can like choose the button option here for the navigation bar next setting that we're going to look into is go back to the settings on your phone so once you're on the settings on your phone scroll all the way down scroll all the way down and you will see these accessibility settings tap on the accessibility settings so here you'll see that you have options here to like you know set up the the accessibility menu so if you go and select this interaction and dexterity tap on it and then here you will see there is an option called assistant menu tap that switch to turn it on so this will enable an assistant switch here so if you tap on that switch you can easily access whatever like small functions like cursors you know pinch zoom okay like going to back to home or offing off the screen or taking a screenshot volume this these options or these functions can be customized you can customize them but it will pop up open up this little switch here which you can simply tap and then select whatever function that you want to access to so it's like a shortcut and it will be much easier for elderly people to use that switch okay so you can turn that on by turning on this assistant menu okay and also apart from that you can also look into these um you know interaction in with same thing with interaction here if you scroll down you will see this um you know on the touch settings and um these touch settings here so in the touch settings here you can like you know uh simply adjust your time uh, your touch settings to control the timing control sometimes you know you know you won't like when you do like a two taps or three taps you want sometimes you need some time in order to like you know to make two taps or single taps you know sometimes if you don't tap it within the time you know it you won't be able to uh, like access the function so you can increase the time in that in that cases okay you can increase the time okay you can that's the tap duration you can increase that so like how long an interaction needs to be held to recognize as a tap so you can just tap on it and increase it okay so mostly if you increase it it will be better for some people so you can just do that okay and also you have these options here if you go back here you have this option for visibility enhancement if you tap on it and here what you can do you can like you know use magnifier windows if you need something bigger and stuff you can use magnifier window and you have you can screen zoom it as well here so you can like uh, zoom it if you want like bigger screens as i mentioned earlier you can do that and also the the mouse and pointer options here which you can work on it if you need it you can just uh, set it up as well once you have installed it just tap on it and open the app so what you're going to do here is you're going to like okay you're going to accept this click on the tick and then click on the tick that's fine okay so just click on it and then select the language so here tap on it and select english i'm going to select english click on the green tick here and then the text size here if you want say you want the default size so if you want something bigger you can choose the bigger option here so that will be you can see it's a bit bigger so you can just choose whatever that's be, that's best suits you and then tick, tick click on the tick and this is the theme so if you want a light theme or dark theme you can simply choose that okay so you can just choose that and then hit on the blue uh, green tick again and then do you want to allow uh, the deletion of items so just make just leave it as don't allow so click on the green item again and then you can download yep that's fine so we're going to go and continue to the home screen again tap on the tick so this is now your home screen so here what you see here is actually the basic functions the call functions message camera 
gallery emergency contacts and here is where you access all the apps and this is your date and time on top here so what happens here if you you can simply click on this and this will take you to all your calls and all those things and additionally you can download the install the phone app here because this is like a companion app so it will help you to in order to when you use it so you know it gives you like a like you know to uh, it's not a uh, it doesn't come with this app but if you download it if you click on download you'll be able to just go and download it from the play store here and then this one here so you can simply download this big phone big phone for seniors you can install it and then once you install it so you can like access to all your calls and all those informations you can do that you can access that and also apart from that if you go back you can also same thing with messages tap on the messages and here you have to uh, same thing you can like download the specific app here for the messages so that will have get you access to all your messages and everything so you can just download that as well so you can just download those two apps if you want to and then here you can set up like your SOS your, your like emergency contacts so tap on it and then click on ok and this will help you just allow it to access your phone and then you can set up or who what whether emergency message or a call so if you tap on the SOS whether you want to call a specific number or a, send a message to a specific number you can choose that and set that up and then here if you tap on this and this one will take you to this other application here so in this application here click on this big launcher preference tap on it and then here what you're going to do is scroll all the way down okay scroll all the way down and then click on this clear big launcher as default launcher tap on it and then here select your default home app as the big launcher app here so this will make your big launcher this app that you can that you see here as the default app so whenever you turn on your phone or you access your phone this will be your home screen not the previous one that you had before so you can easily control everything through this interface here and if you want to access some other apps here so if you go to home you'll see that this this is what you see if you press on home this is your home now it's not your previous one okay so if you want to access any apps tap on it and then simply go and select the app and it will open up the app see and that's it so the your your controls and everything are pretty much restricted and it's easier for elderly people to simply use their phone as you can see the home screen and everything is restricted you only have what's required and necessary for you so you, there's no confusion or any other thing so it's very easy to use which is highly recommendable for elderly people and senior persons so that's actually basically pretty much it that i wanted to share in this video hope the video was helpful to you all if you found it useful please do like share and subscribe i will see you all in a new video